How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back on another video. Today I'm going to be building a garbage bin. Uh, we're here at the homestead and we're getting the garbage picked up, but we don't have a bin. And I hate to waste money on cans and they don't last anyhow. So we have some old wood. Um, when we first got the homestead, I went to Lowe's and got a big bunch of old wood. Now this in here, this board has a big crack down the middle, so we're going to strip it down and make some 2 4s out of it to frame up our floor. And we're going to try to use just the wood that we had left over from the uh, barn dominium build, uh, some of the scraps we're going to be using to build us a garbage bin. The only thing I had to really buy was some metal for the sides. I didn't have enough metal to do all the sides, so we had to pick some of that up. Uh, we had screws left over from the build from the garage. We had a little bit of metal left over from the garage, which we're going to use a couple pieces of it. But we did buy some new because I didn't have any black. And I bought a couple of the, the, the sand color. So um, let's get to working on this garbage. This board here is a 2 by 10 So what we're going to do is we're going to cut three and a half inches off one side and I think we can get three and a half inches off the other side and that's going to cut this big crack going down the middle it's going to cut it out we're going to have two nice uh, basically two by fours we can frame the floor up with and let's see these guys are 12 feet long so we'll get a few boards out of it now the garbage bin is only going to be 36 by 48 it's not real big but it's big enough for us. So we're gonna get to stripping this down, getting these cut, and see what we can do about a four. Okay, so now we got two 12 foot pressure treated two before. And we could use this for the base. All right, I have our uh, board up in the saw now. We need two of these 45 inches long. Now we need two boards 36 inches long. Now I need two boards 33 inches long. Now these six boards here should make us a nice floor in our garbage bin. So now we're going to go ahead and get these set up and nailed together. I'm going to be putting these on 16 inch centers in here. So now we have somewhat of a floor framed up. So we gotta find something to put on this floor. So I gotta scrounge up something to make a floor. 
Well, I think I might have found the bottom to our garbage bin. This was down on the property, down over the hill pretty far. Oh, that's crazy, ain't it? Drug crime line. I should call this thing and see if it's still good. Green County. Hope nobody stole this thing and threw it on my property because I'm going to cut it up and put it in the bottom of my garbage bin. I think it's it's all aluminum so it won't rot. I think that'll be a good piece to put in the bottom. That's all I can find right now. I think it'll work out pretty good. Garbage is not really a heavy anyhow. So let's get to cutting this thing up and put it, in, put it on the bottom. We'll use it as four. Okay, I think this thing's gonna fit really good on here. I'm just gonna take some real finales, get started. And I think it's, I'm just gonna square it up with this end. I think it'll be fine. Oh. It may not look the best, but it's going to serve a purpose. Alright, so we have a good solid floor now. Uh, I think this is going to work out good. Uh, it is a garbage bin and this should help keep any mice or rats or anything that may come along and want to get in. Hopefully this will keep them out. Uh, it's got some air holes in it. Looks like somebody shot it with a gun a couple times. But uh, a little ventilation wouldn't hurt it either. So I think that's going to work just fine for the Baltimore garbage bin. So we're going to go ahead and get these boards cut for the back. And I'm using all these boards here. A lot of these boards were boards that they used for support inside the mini barn dominium when they put cross beams in there to hold it straight. Well, we took them back out and pulled the nails and stuff out of them so we could reuse them. There's no use in letting these boards go to waste. I paid for them. I'm going to use them. So I'm working on the back wall and I'll get you in here as I go. So we're working on the back wall and we're going to get ready to start on the front one. Uh, there's not a lot of wood involved in the front and the back and the sides because the metal is going to give you most of the strength. We're going to play it by ear and see uh, how it turns out.
Okay, our box is all framed out. Oh, I think it's good. I mean, it's not like you need a lot of support on it. So we're gonna try to use some J channel to frame the front and the two sides. Cause that's what you're gonna see most. And uh, I think it'll look good. So we had some leftover J channel up there behind Julie on the uh, saw. And from the garage last year, huh? No, I think that was from the house. Oh, actually. was it? Uh, maybe some was from the house, and maybe some was from the garage, but I got leftovers. So we're just going to, instead of using corners, because we don't have no corners, we're just going to try to frame it up with that. Okay, what do you need? Pencil? Yeah. Yeah, pencil. I'll get you guys back in there once I get this thing. Let me just, it out. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to piece it together. Okay, uh, so we got the metal cut to put inside the track, which this is just like a J channel, and we had a bunch of it left over from the house. So instead of buying the corners, yeah, yeah. we're going to use up the scrap that we have, uh, and I think it's it looks good. So we're going to go ahead and get this screwed down. And this is just an old piece of metal we had from last year, and there's a little bit of a color difference in it, but it's just a it garbage works. bin, so we don't care. So, um, yeah, we're going to, these screws are slightly different color too. <laughs> Oh, well. As long as it keeps the garbage from getting torn up all over the place, that's all that matters. Alright, so uh, Julie and I set it up on the saw horses. It's not as heavy as it kind of looks. The aluminum floor helps out, and the metal isn't that much right now. So we just put it up on top of there. So we could do the two sides, or the two sides in the back. You ain't gonna bend over, it makes it nice. So we'll go ahead and get the two sides and the back done and then we'll get you guys right back in here. And all we're doing is trimming it with the J channel and putting the metal on it. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Okay, I got that side on and we trimmed around it. And then we got the side over here done. And we got trim around it. And it looks pretty good. Now the back, we're gonna have to piece some, but nobody's gonna see it anyhow. We have an extra piece of rat guard. We're gonna go down along the bottom with the rat guard, and then we're just gonna put a piece across the top. And I think it's gonna be okay. I uh, don't think we have enough to go down the sides, but we'll do what we can do. All right, all of our sides are on, the bottom's in. All I gotta do now is make the lid and what i do is take bed rails and weld the bed rails together and i'll weld a set of hinges on it and we will have a lid and somebody's gonna look down in there 100 years from now and say what in the world is that piece of metal but it's recycled so the only thing we had bought for the project is the outside metal everything else is just scrap so we're doing pretty good so far Okay, I just uh, welded up some bed frames, uh, bed rails, and uh, Julie's painted now. And we're going to use that. Yeah, primer. your primer. Yeah. Oh, she's putting a coat of primer on it. And then we'll do some black yeah. on it when it's done. But that that's the easiest way to build a lid for your garbage can, because you want your lid to be as light as you possibly can get it. Yeah. And these few bed rails make they're, it pretty, pretty light. light yeah. yeah they're pretty light at all. so we'll get that painted and then we'll start putting the metal on that we welded the hinges on there so we'll be good to go won't be about a day or so we'll have a garbage uh, bin yep and we won't have to worry about all the critters getting into it yeah you know, I don't mind buying garbage cans, but you know garbage cans just get blowed around in the, uh, the wind and people are running your lids over and <laughs> yeah. uh, critters are knocking them over, bears are getting into them. And so hopefully this will be a little better. So when we get this thing finished, primed up and get some metal ready, we'll uh, get you back in here. We're going to go ahead and weld a handle on the front of this because we're going to need something to lift this thing up and down. And I'm just using a piece of rebar that I've bent up. Cheapest handle I can find.
All right, we have the top over here and I got the metal cut for it. I'm putting it on. While Julie's over here taping uh, the top off, she's gonna paint that two before around there black. That way you don't see it from the side. Yeah, and hopefully it lasts a little longer. Now the hard, the only hard part about using the bed rails for the uh, frame is these screws are all made for wood pretty much. So what you gotta do is you gotta drill your hole first when you're using your screws. I know these got, there's like a self tapper, they go through the metal, but they don't go through the, the uh, bed rail that easy. So what I'm doing is I'm pre-drilling one. Okay, once you get it drilled, then you can put your screw down through there. Uh, and you gotta watch, sometimes they'll break off. I've been pretty lucky. On the garage doors, we brought, broke a lot of them. So, I know you guys don't want to listen to that, but that's how I'm going to put it on. Then I'll flip these over and we'll cut all the back sides off. Alright, our little garbage bin's done. Uh, the lid is not very heavy at all. Pretty light, right Jewel? Yeah. Very easy to open and close. Be nice warm exercises, I could use some. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, whatever. You can go up there at the side of the road and lift this area. I'll hold, it, hold it open for the guys. Yeah. So I think it's uh might be a little bit overkill. So all we gotta do now is get it in the place and then uh we won't have to worry about the cans getting blowed around because you know when you put your garbage can out by the road wind comes along blows a can over lid flies off and then some Buddy runs it over with the car. yeah they run over your cans and your lids and everything so <clears throat> we thought this would be a lot better a lot and yeah last a lot longer you don't always say having a garbage bin is like having a uh, a pavilion because we used to buy little uh, umbrellas to put on those little picnic tables and every time we get a big storm it blow away so they're basically a waste of money but something like this will last for a long long time so I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like till next time